All right, you guys, so we're going to begin today in a seated position on your mat, starting by simply rounding the spine, tucking the chin, and then arching the back right up. Inhale again, rounding the spine, and then exhale, arch and open the upper back. Holding here for a few seconds, and then coming into neutral position, reaching the arms forward, scooping everything in, hollow the belly round the spine, come down about halfway. Shoulders down, single-legged hold, extending your left leg and just holding this position. Breathe. Engaging through your quadricep. Shoulders staying down. And exhale, go ahead and reach for that leg, either the knee or the ankle, wherever you're comfortable. Hold and see how far you can bring it up towards your body until you slowly release all the way down with your back. Taking this time to stretch out the hamstring a little bit. Feel free to massage the leg and mentally prepare yourself for our next exercise, which is going to be our single leg of bridge lifts. So to start, arms up. Go ahead, lift the pelvis and then take it down. That's one. Lift and two. We're doing eight of these and three. Lift and four. Good job, you guys. And five. Seven. Good job. Last one. Hold it up. Eight. Hold it here. Don't drop the leg. Lift the bottom heel off the floor. Your tiptoe bridge lift. All we're doing here is just holding that leg up, engaging through the hamstring, the calf muscle. Deep breath in. Slowly from here, you're going to release the heel, bend the left knee, give me baby pulses, 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, keep going, 8 more you guys, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1, awesome, hold, grab that knee, pull it into your chest as you release the hips down, extend your right leg, and let's take a second to just to stretch out the hip flexor. Pull the leg in and then feel free to rock it gently side to side, massaging that hip joint. And then opening into your open knee stretch here. Just breathe. Think about pulling the knee right up towards your shoulder. And then switching into your spinal twist. Looking over your left shoulder, deep breath in. And then coming back to center, going right into our straight single leg stretch, extending the left leg. Pull yourself up as high as you can, think forehead to knee. And then lift the bottom leg slightly above the ground, holding here for a moment. Breathe. Pull that leg in as much as possible, feel the hamstring. Focusing on the breathing, inhale into your nose. Exhale, from here we're going to bend that left knee into your chest, going into bicycle switches, 16, 2, 3, 4, good job, 7, keep going, 8, don't rush it, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, and 1, wonderful, releasing the leg. And then reaching the arms over your head, big stretch, rolling yourself up to a seated forward fold. Inhale and exhale, take your body forward, remembering to fold from your hips, not the lumbar spine. If you need to slightly bend your knees, please do. Allowing yourself to sink a little deeper with each exhale. Now feel free to stay here or you can go a little bit further by trying to grab your big toes if you can and then pulling your body forward. If that's too hard, continue to hold on to the ankles or behind the knees. Awesome, releasing the legs, arms up, straight back and releasing the arms. Let's take a reversed upward plank, lifting the pelvis, 
throwing the head back, squeezing the glutes, and just holding this position. Exhale out, slowly make your way down. Now we're going to reverse the whole sequence on the other leg. So first reaching the arms, scoop the belly, round the spine, stop at the center. Shoulders down, extending your right leg, engaging through that quadricep. Hold, squeeze the knees together, engage the leg. Inhale into your nose, exhale, reach for that leg wherever you're comfortable. Pull it up as high as you can. And then slowly with control, we're gonna make our way all the way down to the floor. So you can bend the knee or keep it straight. And then as soon as you get down on your back, go ahead and extend the leg, give it a nice stretch. When you're ready, go ahead and point your toes, arms up, eight bridge lifts. Inhale, exhale, lift for one. And two. And three. Five. Good job, you guys. Keep going, lifting as high as you can with those hips. Squeezing the glutes. Last one, you're gonna hold it here, lift. Breathe, lift that back heel off your mat, so on your tippy toe. Hold, engage, and breathe. Lifting as high as you can towards the sky. And when you're ready, we're going to bend that top leg into your chest. You're gonna drop the heel to the floor, give me baby pulses. Two, three, four. Eight more, eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Awesome, you guys, slowly take it down. Grab that right knee, pull it into your chest, extend your left leg, stretch it out. Adding a gentle rock of the knee if that feels good. If not, just hold it here. And then whenever you're ready, opening into your open knee stretch. Hug that right knee, pull it out to the side. Awesome, deep breath in. Exhale out. One more, inhale into your nose. And then exhale from here, we're gonna take our spinal twist. Right knee across, right arm opens, looking over your right shoulder and just breathing here. Inhale into your nose. And as you exhale, let go of any tension or negativity you may be feeling in your body. Anything you know needs to be let go of. Slowly when you're ready, we are going to come back to center and go ahead with our single-legged stretch, extending that right leg, pulling it as close to your body as possible, lifting that other leg off the mat, and just holding this position first, thinking about forehead reaching towards the knee. Now we're going to prepare ourselves for our straight single-legged switches. So just like the bicycle switches, except the knees are straight, inhale, 16, exhale, two, three, four, very nice, five. Got eight more. If you wanna modify this, you can always drop the head down. Keep going. And two, one, awesome, grab your leg, hold, and then releasing the body all the way down, reaching over your head, exhale, roll up, arms up and take your seated head to toe forward fold wonderful job just take a moment here again to breathe now this time see if you can go a little bit further than the first again you guys I cannot stress this enough do not fold from your back make sure we keep those backs healthy keep your knees bent if you have to but we want to make sure we fold from the hips only Reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, arms to the side. 
And then from here, we're gonna come into our seated position with your feet crossed. Big breath, arms reaching over your head. Then exhale, big side stretch. Making sure both sit bones are grounded on your mat. Reaching as far as you can to the side. Feel that nice, gentle stretch. Focusing on the breath. Inhaling into your nose. Exhaling gently through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale out. Continuing to reach and then slowly coming to center and switch to the other side. Same thing. Make sure you're grounded. Holding this position and just feeling that nice stretch on the side. Breathe. Let go of any tension in the body. Inhale into your nose. Exhale, seating go a little bit further. Awesome, come back to center. Inhale, arms reaching up to the sky, arms forward. Now hollow the belly, rounding the spine. Come center and coming into boat posture. If you wanna make this easier, feel free to bring the hands to the floor. Then we're gonna move into our toe touch. Simply tap the toe and bring it back. Tap and back. Three, four, five. Eight, good job. Keep going, we're doing 12 here. And last one, hold, breathe. Holding that bow posture. Allowing the shoulders to relax away from the ears. Breathe, keep those feet up. And then when you're ready, let's come over to our hands and knees position. We're gonna come into our cat-cow, first rounding the spine, and then exhale, arching the back. Letting go of any tension in the spine here. Round and arch. Rounding the spine, and then allowing the belly to sink down. Tuck your toes. And when you're ready, we're slowly gonna come up into our downward facing dog. And take the time here to release any tension in the body, in the hips, in the hamstrings, in the shoulders, wherever you may feel tension. Deep breath into your nose. And then exhale, begin to walk your feet a little closer together. We're gonna go into our next movement here rounding through each vertebra of your spine into your plank position. Nice and slow, shoulders over the wrist. Hold the position, pull the belly button right into your spine. And then slowly push back into that downward facing dog. And then the next exercise, we're gonna round through into plank and then take four push-ups, chaturanga push-ups. Take it down and up. Again, you can come down to the knees if you want to modify. That's two, you got two more. Three, last one. Now from here, take a flow, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Hold, relax the shoulders. And then exhale, push back into the downward facing dog. Beautiful, walk it out and then reaching the right leg up to the sky. Hold for a moment. Bending the right knee, and then coming into our next exercise where we come into plank and touch your right knee to that right elbow first. And then extend all the way up, and you're gonna touch your left elbow, so you're gonna cross it over. Awesome, and up. Repeating three more times like that. Touching the elbow, extending up, Touching the left elbow. Extend, beautiful, two more. Last one. Touch the right elbow. Reach, touch the left elbow. Reach up and hold. Release the foot, 
Rounding through to plank, flow it out. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. You've got one more side to do here. Other leg reaches up. Hold for a moment. And then as soon as you're ready, bending that top knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, come to plank, touching one elbow. Reach it up. Touching the opposite elbow. And reach. Again, come to plank and touch the elbow. Reach. Across. And reach two more times. Wonderful. Last time, you guys, inhale. Exhale, touch that left elbow. Bring it up. And touch the right elbow. Bring it up and hold. Exhale, release the foot. Downward dog. Round forward to plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then again, walk out your downward dog for any tension releasing. Right leg reaches up again. This time we're gonna stretch it out in our pigeon pose. Right knee to your right thumb. Find your center, square off your hips. And then come on down with your body. Awesome. This is a great time to release any tension, to slow down the heart rate. Inhaling into your nose. Exhaling out of your mouth, allowing yourself to surrender to the floor. Inhale into your nose. Exhale, lift your body, tuck your toes. Come back up into downward facing dog. And taking your flow here, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful job. Let's take it to the other side. Other leg reaches up, bending the knee. And then that knee comes over towards the thumb. Hips are square. You guys can always use a little support here. If you feel like you're too high with your hips, take a pillow or a yoga block and place it underneath the left hip. Again, taking the time here to let go of any tension in your body. Exhale, allow the weight of your body to melt into the ground. Inhale into your nose. Exhale, let it go. Slowly lift your body. And then from here, go ahead and step back into that downward facing dog one last time. Deep breath into your nose, really open up through the shoulders. And then come on down to your knees into your child's pose. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Slowly roll yourself up to seated, taking a breath, and then coming over to your seated position on your mat with your feet crossed in front of you. Rest your hands on the knees and just a big head roll to one side, letting go of any tension in the neck, and then the other side. Wonderful. Inhale, arms reaching up to the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale, hands down to your heart. And bowing down to your heart and thanking yourself for your wonderful practice today. Thank you guys so much for joining me for a yoga workout. I hope you have the most amazing rest of your day. Namaste. Namaste.